You may have read news about the Antminer X3 that mines Kryptonite and how there have been hard forks from Monero and other popular Kryptonite coins, but what is the Antminer Z9 Mini and what does it mean for GPU mining? Welcome back, my name is Seth Estrada and if you're watching this video, you're probably on my YouTube channel, Seth Estrada. This morning, in Crypto Beginner Mining, our closed small group, intimate group on Facebook, where we talk about all things crypto mining, Dennis mentioned that he got an email from Bitmain directly about the Z9 Mini, an upcoming ASIC miner that mines Equihash. Let's look a little more in depth. This begs the question, what does this mean for GPO crypto mining? What does it mean for us in general? So let's move on over. My first comment on this thread was, specifically, this is kind of a new problem. Right When Bitmain first released their SHA-256 miners, well, Bitcoin itself didn't fork. Yeah, sure, there have since been forks of Bitcoin and everybody's saying, yeah, we're the true Bitcoin or really you should be using this fork because we'll give you ASIC resistance. But that hasn't really been a selling point of Bitcoin in the beginning. Nah, not really. Bitcoin is far beyond that. So it doesn't really affect Bitcoin. Same with Litecoin and even Litecoin Cash, right, which is essentially started as a joke. By the way, if you were if you're taking Litecoin Cash seriously, I think it was a joke intended to make fun of Roger Ver and the whole Bitcoin Cash thing. So maybe don't take it too seriously. Um, not going to name names, but if you take yourself seriously and you say you're a proponent of Litecoin Cash, I question whether or not you're in on the joke. Just saying, GPU mining is far from dead, and it still offers better long-term ROI. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Let's look at some of the numbers today and see if what's being offered makes any sense. All right, so first off, here is Bitmain's website. This is the Antminer Z9 Mini. It's legit. This is a product page on their website. Let me go ahead and show you the URL right there, shop.bitmain.com. Here's the product uh, info and detail right there. But this is Bitmain's new Antminer Z9 Mini. And again, no shipping to Hong Kong, Macau, or Taiwan. So the email that Dennis got was legit three and a half kilograms right there. It's kind of a hefty device, but you know, we're, we're getting used to that from the Bitmain miners right there. Same extruded aluminum casing right there that they're known for. This is a pretty popular design that they use. So it can be stacked on its side if you want to, or you can mount it using hardware if you really feel like it to your own custom mounts right there. High airflow fan on one side only um, they don't have two fans because it probably doesn't need it and then the ability to let's see add multiples nope i can only put one into the order form there and it's two thousand dollars us i mean let's just call it what it is that's two thousand dollars so two thousand dollars and then some info down below they say it's optional to add a power supply uh, i don't know how that could be optional it doesn't function without one but if you really feel like it you can add a power supply. Now, granted, you might not even need one. Let's look at the info down below. Power consumption is 300 watts, and typically their APW3++, their power supply is a 1600 watt power supply, kind of overkill for a device that only consumes 300 watts. You may only need one of these to power multiples of these, but they're only gonna let you buy one. I digress. They say it's 10,000 souls per second. That's huge, right? In terms of mining Equihash, it's a pretty high hash rate, certainly for the power consumption. At 300 watts, it's got to actually be an ASIC. It seems like they actually have to be producing application-specific integrated circuits. These aren't FPGAs. It's not highly optimized GPUs inside or a specialized chip that is essentially an emulated GPU, a bit like the upcoming Ethereum ASIC from Bitmain. Shipping for this batch, they say, will be on a first paid, first chip basis. 20th of June, 2018. So they're they're getting really specific there that they'll send everything out on the 20th of June after they've collected all the monies. So if the miners are ready before the estimated shipping date, we will ship it out ahead of the schedule. I recommend that you research and prepare in advance for your customs clearance in your country to avoid delays or unexpected costs. You'll need an ATX PSU with sufficient four, uh, sufficient six pin PCI Oh, PCIe connectors. So I, I don't know why they say sufficient for six pin PCIe connectors. I think what they mean is it requires four of them and the six pin PCIe connectors are what they use. So again, their device right here has 10 of them. So one of their boards right here, one of their PSUs right here should supposedly power two of these. It'll have enough PCIe connectors, certainly, unless you use splitters 
you might be able to use one of these to power up to three of these devices. Who knows? The to be shipped products may have different industrial design than the photo here. Okay, so they're just giving themselves a disclaimer. The final product might not look like the image you see above. This could be the Ant Miner X3, for all we know. Just a stock photo they already have on hand. Payment could be in Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin, and Litecoin for this batch. And then let's see, shipping costs, custom charges, taxes, not included in the retail price shown above, so it might cost more. Fill, fill your desired quantity. This is all, this is, they just copied and pasted ready. I'll copy pasta right there. Warranty is 180 days, which for an ASIC is actually pretty generous in my mind, uh, but they do not cover lost income based on opportunity costs. So also kind of pointless. Let's see, good news is coupons all the way up to nearly 50% of the value of the miner can be used. So if you have some Bitmain coupons lying around, just saying, Bitmain coupons, you have any? Because you can get up to almost 50% off on this device, bring it down to almost a thousand bucks. Now you might be wondering, Seth, why would I only pay a thousand bucks? Based on the cost of GPUs, isn't 10,000 solutions per second really good? Isn't 10,000 hashes per second really, really good? Well, yeah, it is, but it won't be for long. So let's go over to whattomine.com. I already created a profile here for the Z9 Mini. Here's Equihash, there's 10,000 souls per second, there's 300 watts at an average cost of about 10 cents per kilowatt hour at current profit. Let me hit the calculate button here and refresh. Top of the stack is Zcash, but that's currently at 40 bucks a day, roughly. 39.40, right? 39 and change per day. Now, did I put in a pool cost, a pool fee? Uh, is there a pool fee on this page? Looks like, you know, I can't actually do a pool fee on this page. So this is minus a pool fee, right? Or without without having subtracted a pool fee. But Zek, Bitcoin Gold, even Equihash is gonna pay you nearly 40 bucks a day. Zen, uh, Zen Cash, about 40 bucks a day. Looks like you're in the neighborhood of between 35 and 40 a day right now on these mainstream coins. Let me see what else I've got loaded up here. Aha, Crypto Zone. So I think they're being a little bit generous, but I've created another profile here that does the same input, right? 10,000 souls per second. Let me see if I can uh, boost the size of that text for you. But 10,000 souls per second at 300 watts with a pool fee of 1% and still an energy cost of 10 cents per kilowatt hour, 24 hour average right here. And then latest exchange values, they've got Zell Cash at the top of the list. So lesser known coin and vote coin, top of the list. You're looking at almost 52 bucks, but here's where it diverges. Zcash at 38, Zen Cash at 44. I don't know if they're being generous, naive, or just using different info from different exchanges and something is just not adding up quite the same way there. Bitcoin private is listed here as well at $37 a day and Z classic at 33. Um, Bit Bitcoin gold quite a bit lower in the rankings here at 31. Maybe I need to refresh this. I think that's what I'm gathering. So let's go ahead and calculate again. Wait for that to refresh. It looks like no, largely the same. So I don't know where the discrepancy comes from here using different exchange numbers, I guess. But it looks like today, this is the snapshot today of what would happen if you use this device today. Okay, so let's jump a little deeper down the rabbit hole. Let's go into the Zcash right here on whattomine.com and let's pop in those same numbers. 10,000 ashes per second, 300 watts, 10 cents per watt, hardware cost. Let's go ahead and put in $2,000 and we need a pool fee, right? So there we go. 1% pool fee and let's calculate. Let's see what's happening here. So it looks like da, 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 break even in 52 days, less than two months. Pretty darn cool, right? Yeah, pretty darn cool. Here's my concern. And I called this out for the Antminer X3. The Antminer X3, by the time the early unannounced deliveries were being made from the week before, it dropped $100 per day in profitability. My prognosis for this, or my what I foresee happening here with this new Antminer Z9 Mini, is that it's also going to drop by about 60% in profitability as these hit the market because they'll devalue the work being done, the proof of work being done by GPU miners so quickly that Zcash is going to drop precipitously in value. Mining Zcash is gonna drop precipitously. So take this number, daily profit, slash it by 60%. Let me pop open a calculator. I know this is probably not too hard to do in my head, but let's just, let's be thorough here, shall we? 3816. 
times 33%. You're looking at possibly 12 bucks a day. Okay, 1250. Now let's take that same $2,000 and divide it by 1250. You're actually looking at a break even of 160 days, not 52. In my mind, that's more realistic. Just based on what we've seen happen with the X3 miner by Bitmain. Is there any kind of a plan to improve ASIC resistance or generate ASIC resistance for Zcash? A lot of people are asking this. And again, my story that I'm sticking to is that GPU mining is not dead and that long term it's going to be higher ROI, in part because you can sell off your GPUs. GPUs from five years ago, which you've seen on my GPU efficiency chart on mineyear.biz, they're reselling for almost as much as they originally sold for retail. I mean, come on, that's unreal. There are no ASICs from five years ago that are being resold for any amount nowadays. Maybe they're being given uh, given to, to other people as favors, being sloughed off as, uh, as overstock. Maybe they're being given a new lease of life by flashing a new BIOS and you're getting some more life out of them. But realistically, not all that much is happening with old ASICs, especially when they get in the territory of the vicinity of three to four to five years old. There's really not anything that's kicking after that length of time. So I suspect that's going to be the case for the Z9 Mini as well. Let's jump back over here. The CryptoZone, I don't know. Again, I think they're maybe being a little bit too generous with some of these numbers. In my experience so far, it never quite seems to play out the way it's being calculated here. So yeah, I don't know what the discrepancy is. Just a little heads up. Okay, let's hop over to the Zcash website. Good news, there is a network upgrade coming and it's coming in just 53 days. Wait, wait a second, coincidence? Dun, dun, dun. I think not. But the upgrade to their network is coming in about 53 days. Now, I mean, I'm being silly, right? Obviously, none of these none of these ASICs are being delivered today, so you're not going to ROI on them or break even on them like in 53 days when this network upgrade happens. Plus, the scope of the network upgrade for Zcash over winter they call it is not necessarily to change proof of work, but there is one scheduled and it will be in some point in June. Of course, if these are shipping on June 20th, then there may be an issue of getting them to the States in time for this fork to happen. Now, will Zcash fork its proof of work? I don't know, but here's their explanation. Overwinter is the first network upgrade for Zcash. Its purpose is strengthening the protocol for future network upgrades. It includes versioning, replay protection for network upgrades, performance improvements for transparent transactions, a new feature of transaction expiry, and more. Keep your Zcash software updated and you'll be on the newly upgraded main chain along with everyone else. You will not miss the network upgrade unless you are running your own full node and have manually configured your client to continue running old code. So if you're doing regular software updates for Zcash, you're going to experience Overwinter and they're just making kind of a vague overall protocol update so that it's ready for future upgrades. Now, what does that really even mean? Well, it makes it more secure by allowing for replay protection and then making it faster, I guess, and transparent transactions in the future. Uh, transaction expiry, meaning it will expire at a certain point. Expiry, I'm sorry, did I say that wrong? I, I just raised my pinky. Proof of work could be included. I'm just gonna say that right now. Proof of work could be included. What I want you to do, I want you to email info at z.cash and ask them, please fork proof of work. Overwinter looks good, but from a practical mining standpoint, with a new ASIC hitting the market, Overwinter is not enough. It's not enough to make Zcash the best cryptocurrency that it could be. One of the things that made Monero a really great option, not only for privacy, but also as sort of an every man's cryptocurrency. Wow, that's a thing now, every man's cryptocurrency. One of the things that made Monero great was the fact that it could be mined and can be mined profitably on a laptop, right? You can mine it on a laptop, you can mine it on a GPU. If you have a lot of laptops, or a really powerful CPU, uh, or a lot of powerful GPUs. Of course, you can mine more, but you can mine it profitably still on any consumer hardware, any consumer desktop computer, and you can earn something every single day. So if you have a work-issued laptop, 
hey, you can mine like 25 or 28 cents a day. Not bad considering that it was going to sit around doing nothing the rest of the day anyway. I mean, other than the few emails you have to do for work and, you know, obviously Netflixing, whatever else when you take it at home. I'm just being, just being real here. You don't always do intense data flows on Excel all the time. And even if you did, that's not going to tax the CPU to the point that you couldn't use it for mining. So that's one of the things that made Monero so awesome. Now, the fact that Edward Snowden the fact that Edward Snowden is a fan of Zcash is cool and all, but he hasn't really addressed that particular aspect of cryptocurrency. The fact that you can mine some of it as an individual at home. And Zcash looked like a great option because of that. The Equihash algorithm looked like a great option because of that. Now, there are other cryptocurrencies, of course. Zcash is not the only game in town. As we saw before, there's Bitcoin Gold, Zencash, Z Classic, Hush, Komodo, and others, right? This is actually a fairly short list of just Equihash coins right here. There are more. Bitcoin Private, right? Bitcoin Z, Snow Gem, others. And there are, of course, some that are, that are less popular. But the bottom line is, Equihash is still profitable to mine today. But when the ASICs hit the market, these really exciting numbers you see here will do exactly like Monero did and exactly like all of the other Crypto Night based coins did. And that profitability is going to drop. It just will. Guys, that's my take on it. Tell me below in the comments, which Equihash algorithm coins are you mining right now on a GPU? Does this change your mind about mining them? Are you going to switch to something else? Have you already noticed that mining Zek has not been as profitable lately? Think maybe it has to do with these ASICs being developed? I do, and I think that trend's just going to continue with Equihash-based coins. Remember, send that email to info at z.cash. Tell them that you support a proof-of-work fork during overwinter, the overwinter update. And if you have a stake in other coins that use the Equihash algorithm, I encourage you to do the same thing to the developers there. Guys, thank you for watching this video. You're the reason that I make this content. Thank you for hitting the subscribe button. Thank you for clicking the bell icon so you're notified when new videos come out. You're the reason I make these videos. Love your face. I will see you in the next one.